for the entrance hymn, let us all rise and take the hymn A36 to God in Gladness. My dear brothers and sisters, we shall offer this Mass for the following intentions. For the eternal repose of Salvador Bruno Pereira and for the eternal repose of Edmundo Fernandes. May God, out of his benevolence and mercy, bless them with heaven. Let's also pray in a special way today for Antony and Perpetua, they are celebrating their wedding anniversary. Let us thank and praise God for keeping them united in faithful love for so many years and for blessing them in so many ways. And as we thank and praise God for this couple, let us ask the Lord to continue blessing them, blessing them with good health, blessing their family members. Let us pray for them in this Mass in a special way. We have among us Father Melroy Correa. He's a redemptorist and he's a prefect of studies in Varka. Father, we welcome you. Let us also pray for him. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we are in the Christmas season, and today we celebrate the feast of St. John, Apostle and Evangelist. St. John is mentioned in the first three Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke as one of the three important apostles, one who was present at all the important events of Christ's life. And he's also an evangelist who gave us the Gospel of John. It is in the Gospel of John that we read that God is love, that God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And so it is fitting that we celebrate the feast of St. John during the Christmas season because he is the one who proclaimed to us that God loves us so abundantly that he gave his only son to be our savior and redeemer. And so as we come around the altar, let us examine our lives. How have we been open to the love of God? How have we have responded to God's love revealed in Jesus Christ? I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, that I that have greatly really sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Glory to God, God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to people of good will. will. We, we praise you, you we bless you, you we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, Lord God, God of heavenly, heavenly King, King, O God Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the blessed Apostle John have unlocked for us the secrets of your word, grant, we pray, that we may grasp with proper understanding what he so marvelously brought to our ears. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we looked upon and have touched with our hands, concerning the word of life, the life was made manifest, and we have seen it and testified to it, and proclaim to you the eternal life, which was with the Father and was made manifest to us. That which we have seen and heard, we proclaim also to you, so that you too may have fellowship with us, and indeed our fellowship with, and indeed our fellowship is with the Father, and with his Son, Jesus Christ. And we are writing these things so that our joy may be complete. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let our response be, Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice, rejoice in, in the, the Lord, Lord, you just. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice. Let the many islands be glad. Cloud and darkness surround him. Justice and right are the foundation of his throne. Response. Rejoice, Rejoice in, in the, the Lord, Lord you just. just. The mountains melt like wax before the face of the Lord, before the face of the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice. All peoples see his glory. Response, rejoice, rejoice in, in the, the Lord, Lord you just. just. Light shines forth for the just one, and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. To the memory of his holiness, give thanks. Response, rejoice, rejoice in, in the, the Lord, Lord you just. Kindly stand for the gospel. you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord. The glorious company of apostles praise you. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia to the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. So Peter went out with the other disciple, and they were going towards the tomb. Both of them were running together. But the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first and stooped to look in. He saw the linen cloths lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloths lying there and the face cloth which had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen cloths, but folded up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, what must rule our lives? Or who must, you know, who, what is more important? The heart or the head? Sometimes the people, especially those who are more uh, intellectuals or rationalists, will say the head is more important. The head is the one which should give direction to our lives. If you want to be successful, Follow what your mind says, what your head says. On the other hand, those who are more romantic in their orientation, those who are more sensitive, they will say the heart is more important. Follow your heart and you will be truly happy and fulfilled. But the, wise, the, the wisest opinion that I've heard is that we need both the heart and the head to go together. And only when we consult both the heart and the head, when, when they are properly, uh, uh, when there is proper interaction between the heart and the head, then we take the proper decisions in life. I spoke about the heart and the head because today's gospel talks about Peter and John. They are the two main characters. And if you say who is the head, Peter is the head because he is the head of the apostle. Jesus appointed him as the head. While well, John is considered the heart. He is not even named in the fourth gospel. In his own gospel, he never names himself. He only calls himself as the beloved disciple, the disciple whom Jesus loved. That's how he describes himself. And that's why we could call him the heart of the, of the, the apostolic community. And you see how the heart and the head is both interacting. No? Peter is the head. He goes slow. He reaches the tomb late. The heart was the John. He just rushes in and he reaches the tomb early. But John doesn't go inside the tomb. He waits for Peter to come in first. And he goes inside the tomb and sees. And then John enters. But it is, but it is John who first believes, not not Peter. The heart is the one which first believes. And so we see the interaction in these two apostles of Peter and John. You can see the interaction of the heart and the head. And you see how they have to go together. The head is more, you know, it has more primacy, of course. You know, it is the one which is supposed to direct. But the heart has its own reasons, as you know, the famous philosopher Blaise Pascal would say. The heart has its own reasons. The heart has its own place. And so we have to give an equal importance to both the head and the heart. Today, as we are celebrating St. John's Feast, you know, we realize the importance of the heart. And we are in the Christmas season also. 
and the heart is so important generally we give importance to only to our, our intellect our mind but the heart is very important the whole christmas season directs us to see god who became like a small little baby so that he could attract us he could bring us to him god did not want to stay far away but he wanted us to be close to him to embrace him to love him and that is why he became a little baby because nobody can uh, avoid or nobody can be distant from a baby and that's the message of christmas that god loves us so much he wants to come close to us he wants us to embrace him and that's why in our faith not just intellect but our heart is important do we come to god with all our heart do we really love him as the lord of our life as the one who gave his life for us let us pray in this eucharist that we may learn to love him more and more like john the apostle who leaned on the heart of jesus let us also lean on him on his in his uh, lean on his heart and let us learn from him because jesus is the one who will teach us how to be meek and humble of heart let us pray in this eucharist for this grace amen for the preparation of the gifts we shall take the hymn b28 offering Are you Lord God of all creation? Thanks to your goodness, this bread we offer, fruit of the earth, work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God. brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the, may the lord, lord accept, accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and for the good of all his holy church sanctify the offerings we have made o lord we pray and grant that from the banquet of this supper we may draw the hidden wisdom of the eternal word just as from that from this same source you revealed it to your apostle john through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it, it is right, right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for in the mystery of the word made flesh a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind so that as we recognize in him god made visible we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions with all the hosts and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us. the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion 
he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Spiritual Communion Prayer by Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into myself since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen as we receive jesus into our hearts let us take the hymn d131 o let the son of god enfold you o let the son of god enfold you when the spirit and his love Let him fill your heart and satisfy your soul. Oh, let him have the things that hold you, and his spirit like a dove will descend upon your life and make you whole. Let us pray. O God, who in Saint John have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, through this mystery which we have celebrated, ever dwell among us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I take this opportunity to thank Father Melroy for celebrating this eucharist for us thank you father and the may the almighty bless you and bless your ministry i also like to extend uh, congratulations and appreciation to our prayer group members anthony and perpetua as you celebrate your wedding anniversary today we ask the lord to bless you as he has been blessing you for the last so many years and he has uh, kept you united in faithful love may the almighty continue to bless you with good health bless your family members also so we are happy for you and we thank you for the service that you render to this center as a intercessory prayer group members uh, do continue to be part of this mission thank you The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks and be to, to God. God. For the recessional hymn, we shall take F thirteen. Go tell it on the mountain. We shall be singing the third verse. and everywhere go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born when i was a seeker i sought both night and day i asked the lord to help me and he showed me on the mount 
Hashem over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born.